1963. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit, then. You know, we can go to see the Beatles play in 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo? Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's no such thing as a sexy drummer. You know, I'd never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. The Beatles' first two albums. Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kings, The Rolling Stones, Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. On a massive scale. Doctor, look. Exterminate! We've got to talk to her. Wait! Now we've got to talk to her. Come on. Stop! Look out for that Dalek. Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. Well, you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. Be careful down here. You never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Ah, there you are. Hello. Calm down, we're here to help you. How can I trust you? Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. I'm the Doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. Promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like, like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Thousands and thousands of them. Thousands. Exterminate! And there are no other survivors. Us against the Daleks. They destroyed everything. Everyone. It's just me left. The last human being. That's what the Dalek said. Well, it was wrong about that, wasn't it? There's you two. How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away. But the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own. One woman army. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look. I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. 
I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. What was that? I think it just got even more dangerous. Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her, but we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. We should be safe. Stop! The track is electrified. Then we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Now it's safe. We better get a move on before that Dalek spots us. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hurry! Sylvia! Exterminate! Run, Doctor, run! Exterminate! No! You killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. Doctor? Amy? It's all right, Amy. You're going to be all right. I felt so weird. It's going to be all right, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyze the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you. But we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling. It's Scaro. The planet of the Daleks. Coordinates set. We're going back to where it all began. Going to save the human race. <gasps> it's all right. Nobody home, and they've been busy rebuilding this place too. Rebuilding. Land. City of the Daleks. The last time I saw it, it was in ruins and the Daleks had fled. But now Kalan is reborn. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming here for my holidays. Don't blame you. It never stops raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Even with an umbrella, the atmosphere is 30% sulfuric acid. Ooh, no wonder they're so screwed up. Come on. We have to find the source of the Daleks' time manipulation and stop them. Whatever that takes. I don't feel right. Steady. Doctor? Sorry, Amy, I'm so sorry. What is happening to me? Time is catching up with you. What? When the Daleks destroyed humanity in 1963, you became a paradox. You shouldn't exist, but you do because the TARDIS protected you. But that protection can only last for so long. That's why we have to find how the Daleks went back in time and put things right. For all of humanity and to save you. But there'll be Daleks everywhere. Doesn't matter. I'll find a way. But first I have to slow down what's happening to you. The Daleks have temporal technology. I can use that. We need to build a chronon blocker from Dalek spare parts. That will counter the effect of the paradox. We have to find a Dalekanium coil and a Contron crystal. Uh, like you're talking English? A uh, what, what, what? Don't worry. You rest here and I'll find them and bring them back. Get down. How's that? A bit better. Hmm. At least I've got some colour back. See through is so not you. Uh, it will block the chronon energies for a while, but we have to reach the Supreme Council chamber and deactivate whatever is in there. But how do we even find out what's in there? It could be a Dalek convention inside. Ah, we can see into it from the Daleks' visualizer room. Come on. Here we are. This is where they monitor and record all Dalek activity across the universe. This is like the Dalek Records Office. A librarian Dalek. That's something I actually want to see. There's your librarian. The visualizer eye. And you know what Stickler's librarians are? 
We need to get to the console so I can deactivate the security beam. Those data banks look like good cover. Let's go. what we can see, shall we? Aha! That's the Supreme Council chamber, all right. There's the Emperor. He is massive. Occupational hazard. You're sitting on a throne all the time, you're gonna put on a few pounds. But that is what I'm interested in. Is that it? Whatever the Daleks used to wipe out the Earth? Well, if I was a betting man, yeah. That'd be it. That's interesting. Temporal coordinates. Interesting to you, maybe, but how do we get anywhere near that thing with all those Daleks around? Knock politely. What? Where to now? Straight to the top. The Supreme Council Chamber. It's like it read my mind. Dalek technology. Wonderful. If only they didn't want to use it to kill everybody all the time. Taken to the Dalek Emperor! What a stroke of luck. Just the dictator I wanted to see. Speak for yourself. You will come with us! By all means. Lead on. You recognize me then? I should save time. Show me the source of your power. The Emperor Dalek does not obey orders! Have you got the first idea of what will happen if you carry on disrupting the time continuum? Daleks will be the masters of time and the universe! What use is power if there's no one to marvel at it? To quake with fear? Come on, show me. Scare me. Witness the might of the Daleks. Fear it. No. It can't be. What is it? The Eye of Time. More powerful than the heart of any TARDIS, more than the power of every TARDIS ever built. Harnessed by the Time Lord centuries ago and lost at the fall of Gallifrey. Lost? The eye is a natural phenomenon. Some say it is the heart of time and space itself, the very core of the Big Bang. The Time Lords contained it in a powerful iron field, but when Gallifrey was destroyed, it vanished into the universe. The Daleks found it! It is ours! Daleks are the new Time Lords! The Time Lords use their powers to benefit the universe, not to crush it. You were weak. Soon, throughout all time and space, there will be only Daleks! No. Your time just ran out. Uh, Amy. Run. Are you all right? Yes. What happened? Those temporal coordinates, remember? This is Kalan, just before the Daleks returned to it with the Eye of Time. But it looks like it will be coming soon. And it won't be long before the Emperor sends more Daleks after us through the Eye. We have to be ready for them. What do we do? Set a trap. These wires should connect the debris to the generators and with a zap of the sonic, we should have our trap set. Then all we'll need is a Dalek or two. Doctor, it's happening again. We've jumped time again. The chronon blocker won't work here. Just hold on, Amy. I can save you, I promise. Stay with me, Amy. I'm... I'm okay. Come on. We have to be ready for them. Stop. That's a Varga plant over there. These vines have a deadly sting. To get past, we'll have to time it carefully. 
should do the trick. Secure Kalan. Prepare to activate the Eye of Time. The Supreme Dalek. Who else? What are we gonna do? We have to release the Eye before the Daleks activate it, then the natural timeline will be restored. The Daleks don't crash Earth and Amy Pong gets born. Ah, uh, that's great, but how are we gonna get past that lot? Well, like I wouldn't have a plan. Everything we need is in here. This is linked to the eye of every Dalek. If I can reverse engineer it, we can interfere with their vision. We just need some parts from the production facility. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Could you pop next door and rustle me up a couple of things while I get started on this gizmo? What do you need? A cup of tea, chalky bickies? A Dalek gun and a Dalek eye stalk. I recommend looking for salvage rather than a live one. Yeah, you're so funny. Good luck. Let me open this door for you. It didn't see me. Looks like invisibility can have its advantages. There. This will blind the Daleks. But its range is limited. Unless I can fit it into the cradle of the old Emperor. That will take out every Dalek in the chamber. Doctor, I feel so strange. I'm sorry, Amy. We're running out of time. We can do this. But it has to be now. Open the eye. It's now or never. There's too many of them, Doctor. It'll exterminate you on sight. Give it to me. I can do this. You have to let me. This had better work, Doctor. Now, I've got to destroy those magnetic field generators to free the eye. Amy? Doctor? Steady, steady, take it easy. I'm okay. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> of course we did it, look. This is Kalan as it should be. Ruined. But how did we get here? The eye just spat us back to the point where we entered it. And Earth? Didn't you say something about meeting Ringo Starr? Waiting. They were waiting. <laughs> Professor? There's something here. Be careful, Chisholm. Whatever that is, it's been buried in this ice for millennia. I can't go back there! No! No! Oh, my God. No!
he could never get his fingers around G sharp. You're actually telling me you taught Elvis to play guitar? Well, not very well, obviously. How long's that been flashing? Search me, what is it? Someone's sending an SOS. To the TARDIS? I doubt it, to anyone that's passing. Generally, people aren't choosy who answers when they send a distress signal. Here we go. Where are we? The Arctic Circle somewhere. And the TARDIS will keep you warm, at least for a while. Now, that signal wasn't too strong. Couldn't lock on all that accurately. It's an earthquake. I mean, an ice quake. Just a little glacial movement. Huh, yeah, just a little glacial movement for you and your hobnail boots. We're wearing heels here. From the look of these, I'd say we're on some sort of floating ice plateau. Where are you going? <sighs> just a quick look around. Didn't you listen to anything I just said? No. Amy, you stay here. I'll see if I can reach the skidoo rider down there. Please don't fall to your death. I don't fancy living in an igloo. Not without central heating. Oh, Amy, I didn't know you cared. Amy, can you tie this rope to something, please? We need to find a way to winch this fellow up. Sure! Get some warmth into you. Where am I? You fell. Looks like your ankle is sprained. But I'll soon get you out of here, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll soon have you sorted out. All right, Amy, start the motor. I think so. The skidoo did the trick after all. There's another way out of here! You'd better get a move on! These shoes really aren't much good on ice, especially when it's shaking. Um, come on. Don't mean to worry you, but the whole plateau could be about to collapse. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to climb anything. Don't worry, I'll make a route that's easier for you. Soon get you back to your base. Where is it? Not there. No, no. I can't go back there. No. Why? What's wrong? Waiting. They were waiting. He's delirious. No, Amy. He's terrified. Well, he's not going to tell us where he came from now. So we're going to have to find it ourselves. Exactly. Whatever has happened there, someone sent an SOS. So there are people there who need our help. Good thing I salvaged the sat-nav from the skidoo. That should help point us in the right direction. Mm. It looks a bit smashed up to me. I repaired the great Klaxion generators of Thrad. I got the ionic flux engines of the Dragodorf Imperial flagship running with an old chewing gum wrapper and a mouse trap. I think I can fix a sat-nav. If I hook this up to the TARDIS, I can rewire it in no time. Now we have the coordinates. 
Right. Now we find out what got our friend Chisholm so terrified. Yeah, like that's a good idea. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Doctor, did you ever see this thing? The carpenter cut Russell thing or the Howard Hawks thingy with the walking carrot. Not sure I see your point, anyway. You brought me back. They'll get us all. I give you my word, I'll protect you. Whatever happened here, I can help, I promise. How? They got everybody. They changed them. Into what? Like robots. Slaves. Cyber slaves. Cyber slaves? Amy, get out of the way! What was that? A cyber mat. If that's anything like a mouse mat, it didn't look like one. Weird. I've seen them kill people before, but never turn people into robots. That's new. That's fascinating. Why would they do that? Let me take a look. No! Get away! Get away from me! And get out of here. You have to let me help you. It's too late for me now. What's going on here? I think the answer to that is in there. Yeah, of course. It would be. Hello? Chisholm, are you in there? Go away. You can't help me now. Best thing you can do is save yourselves. I promise we will find a way to help you. Who's in charge here? Could there be other survivors? Elizabeth Meadows is the senior scientist. Maybe she's not infected. She's pretty resourceful. If anyone has survived, it's her. Thanks. We'll find her. Don't worry. We'll fix this. Knock, knock. Oh, hello. And who are you, then? Conversation not your strong point, is it? Amy, I'll keep his attention while you think of a way to overpower Me? him. I thought that was your job. I thought you liked to be independent. Now, if you could think of something, fast. Ha! Take that. Well done, Amy. Watch out, Amy. There's another cyber slave around the corner. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Until we know exactly what's going on, we need to watch our step. Look, a tin can on legs. Meet my can opener. It did not like that. The sonic signal gives them a cyber migraine. The sonic's frequency keeps them at bay. We might be able to rig something at another frequency to stun or deactivate them. That would be good. Those things are worse than spiders. Spiders? I'd rather we change the subject. See if we can get some information out of this system. Doctor, look out! You don't get many visitors up here, do you? I thought you were one of them. Who are you? This is Amy and I'm the doctor. We answered your distress beacon. Thank God. My name's Elizabeth Meadows. I've been barricaded in here for days. It's all right. The doctor will be able to help. What happened to your arm? I fell and hurt it running away from those things. They're everywhere. You mean the cyber mats? They bite. Inject a nanovirus that converts flesh and bone into living machinery. Cyber slaves? But slaves to whom? To the Cybermen, of course. Where did you find this? We're a geological survey. It must have been under the ice for 10,000 years. Amazing. So who are the Cybermen? Cybernetic bodies with living brains. Brains surgically removed from those they conquer. Stripped of everything but the urge to kill. And convert more like themselves. And they've been under the ice 10,000 years. Apparently. And the Cybermats have been converting a small army of slaves to dig them out. Is that right, Professor? Yes. I've been trying to develop an antidote. Something that will reverse the nanovirus. Make my team human again. 
You're very good. But it won't work. We need a sample of the virus in its pure form. You stay here, Professor, and do what you can. Amy, we're going to catch ourselves a cybermat. Can you hear that? The cybermats are in the air ducting system. It surfaces the whole base, so they'll be everywhere. Sneaky devils, aren't they? Can we get to them through here? Too dangerous. If I open this hatch, whoosh! Do you fancy getting covered in cybermats? Best to get them from above. So you're going through the vent system? Am I wearing a Bruce Willis vest? Besides, I won't fit. There's another vent hatch up there. If I distract them from down here, you might be able to open it. Me? Sorry. I'm not really ventilation duct size. I can distract them for you with the sonic screwdriver. Hmm, it's a plan, I suppose. But first we need to find a weapon of some kind to use on them. Tell me about the cyber slaves. Saving my team is all that's important right now. Which is why it's a good thing that I'm here. Can you tell me about the base? Survey readings showed up irregular results under the ice. We came to investigate them. Irregular? How? A geophysics scan showed shapes that looked like large man-made structures. We thought it was an indication of pre-ice age settlement. But it wasn't human. No. There's a handheld distress beacon here. That'll do nicely. I thought you were more into answering SOS calls, not making them. This is just what we need to deal with the cybermats. Clarification request. If I can get it to emit the same frequency pulse as the sonic screwdriver, but stronger, it will work like an EMP device and disable them all. Sounds like a plan to me. Excellent. I've set up the beacon to emit an amplified sonic burst. So set it off and all the cybermats in the station go bang. I'm afraid it's not quite that simple. To make sure we take out as many cybermats as possible, we have to drop it right into their nest. So back to the nest then. Amy, you're a star. And even brighter than Alpha Seti Beta 6. There. Okay. I think I can manage that. Ah, and um, try to avoid any cybermats while you're up there. Thanks. Doctor of the Flaming Obvious now, are you? I mean it. They're dangerous. You know what they can do. Doctor, I see the nest. I'm setting off the beacon. Amy? It's all right. I'm fine. Then again, maybe not. Perfect. A nano-synthesizer, just what Professor Meadows needs. She can get a sample of the cyber virus from this. Come on. Fort Cecil to GSO Zebra Bay. Fort Cecil to GSO Zebra Bay. Do you read me? Confirming supply delivery. What? They can't, they can't come here. We have to stop them. Fort Cecil, this is GSO Zebra Bay. Stay away. Do you hear me? Stay away. Do you read us? It's not working. The capacitor's blown. Like that means anything to me. Look, this is it. I have to get back to Professor Meadows. Find another capacitor, Amy, get the radio working again and warn Fort Cecil. And now I'm a radio engineer. Great. Did you fix the radio? No, but... Then you really need to let me concentrate on this. Well, I haven't got a clue where to find this radio part. Maybe Chisholm can help you. Then I hope he's still human. I'll go and see. Maybe he can help. Hello, Mr. Chisholm. Are you there? Why are you still here? I need to ask you a question. Do you know where I can find a capacitor for the radio? It's broken and we need to warn Fort Cecil. There's a spare one in my locker. The code is 3245. Thank you. Where was this supposed to go? Ah, I see it. There. Now, let's see if we have a connection. Um, uh, the GSO to Fort Cecil. Hello? Roger and all that. GSO Zebra Bay, this is Fort Cecil reading you. Are you confirming the delivery? No, we have a, a, a situation 
Here, we need you to hold off on that delivery. Don't come anywhere near here until we give you the green light. Is that clear? Why? What, what is happening? Um, polar flu. Really, really bad outbreak. We need to be quarantined just to be safe. Roger that. Let us know if we can help. Thanks. GSO out. Over and out. They really say that? Now, where did the doctor get to? Professor Meadows? Elizabeth? When I said stay here, I meant stay here. Why don't people do what I tell them? Well, let's see what I can do about this. Amy, look. One synthesized nano serum. Who's a clever boy then? Yeah? Well, I fixed the radio and warned Fort Cecil. You're not the only brain box around here. You managed it. Brilliant. We can't allow anyone to get near this base. Cybermats are bad enough, but those Cybermen under the ice are something else entirely. We need to find out how close the Cyber Slaves are to releasing the Cybermen and hope there's still time to stop them. All right. Where's Meadows? I don't know. When I got back, she'd gone. I don't like that at all. We should get the serum to Chisholm. You're right. First things first. I've developed a serum. It will reverse the nanovirus. Please, come down and take it. Are you sure it'll work? I've seen what happened to the others. I don't want to end up like that. I'd rather be dead. I can't be sure how long it will take to work, but believe me, you're going to be all right. Did you find Meadows? Yes, but now she's disappeared. Had she been infected? Apart from an injured arm, she seemed fine, but now I can't find her on the base. Any idea where she could have gone? Only the excavation. But that's where the cyber slaves are digging, isn't it? She's got to be mad. This whole project is hers. This is her team. She would do anything to save them. How do we get to the excavation? There's a lift. In the lab. Yes, I saw that. But the door had a heavy security lock. I'll get us past that. It's a closed environment. There's a retinal scanner to log who goes down there. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think you're going any further. Let the serum do its job. I can handle things from here. Going down for household appliances and homicidal cybermen. <laughs> yep, you are so funny. Careful. This place is crawling with cyber slaves. Looks like a network of tunnels. Why dig all those? Standard procedure in digs. You dig a cross pattern of trenches, or in this case, tunnels, until you find what you're looking for. And they found it. They weren't looking for what they found. If only they had never started to look. Must have crashed here before the last answer. And it's just been waiting here for someone to dig it out. The Cybermen will be in suspended animation, but the ship will have been sentient since it crashed, listening for signs of life on the surface. When it heard the GSO excavating, it sent out the Cybermats. Clever stuff, really. And deadly. Once the Cybermen are awake, they'll complete their mission. Cyber conversion of every human being on Earth. Amy, come stand on here. I'll start the lift. What about you? Well, there must be another lift up there that you can activate for me. Why are we even trying to get up there? I need to get to the control room of that ship. I need to find out how close they are to waking the Cybermen. And I have to stop them. Just one animated Cyberman. That's all it could take to start converting the whole human race. OK. Can you give me a hand? Sure. Doctor! Help me! Amy, leave her alone! Don't you dare hurt her, Amy! Think, think, think. Where are they taking her? It must be to the control room up there. I don't have much time.
was the Meadows. I was afraid the Cybermats had got you. Ah. I see. I don't think so, Doctor. You must spend hours in front of the mirror in the morning. Humor is a redundant application of intellect. I don't know. I find it comes in quite handy in a tight spot. So you were a cyber slave from the start. And you answered the distress call I directed at your TARDIS. What do you want with me? And what have you done with my friend Amy? That's a cyber conversion chamber. Don't you dare touch her. Then comply with my demand. Which is? This ship was caught in a temporal storm and crashed. The cryo systems are too badly damaged for us to repair to reanimate my cyber brethren. But you, Doctor, you have the genius of a Time Lord. You want me to wake a Cyberman invasion of Earth? You're mad. It is your choice, Doctor. Wake them, or your companion becomes the first of a new line of Cybermen. All right, I'll, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Lord, I have reactivated you. Your protocol has been successful. Now you will be deleted. But I gave you life. No, you don't have to kill her. Cybermen do not require cyber slaves. Cybermen are superior to all. the trick. Let's get out of here. They're almost through the door. First, I need to get back to the control room. Back to the control room? Why? Because I need to stop the Cybermen. How? Not quite sure yet. Come on. Isn't this dangerous? There must be Cybermen all over the place. Yes, but this is the only place we can stop them. Where are they going? Fort Cecil, the only people for a hundred miles. They'll convert them and move on. Including you, Doctor. You will be deleted. Delete this. Feeling better, Mr. Chisholm? I am now. But what about Fort Cecil? How do we stop the Cybermen? We turn their own bodies against them. And you know exactly how to do that. Of course. I can reprogram the nanoforms in the Cybermen's body chemistry to attack them. At least, I hope I can. To do the trick, and we should have about half an hour to get out of here before it blows. Two minutes to critical mass. And there was me looking forward to a leisurely stroll. Sorry about that. Maybe we should run. Plan? In the end? Do you even know what a plan is? That'll be the Fort Cecil plane. Not a bad day's work, then. The nanovirus will have reversed with the destruction of the ship. They'll be good as new. There's going to be a lot of questions. Most of them asked by someone from Unit, I dare say. Just mention my name and you'll be okay. You never said. What is it? The Doctor. Just... The Doctor. That's not true!
Okay, then. Name one of your holidays that didn't end up in a big, mad disaster. Well, there was Brighton Beach. Actually, no, that didn't end well. Had a lovely time in Paris. No, that went a bit wrong. Still waiting. Trouble seems to follow me around. Hmm, I've noticed. And it's never your fault, of course. Well, not always. Sometimes things go wrong all by themselves. A bit like now, then. We're still in the wrong time, Vortex. Something's wrong. Really? What gave it away? Speak up! Oh, you can't breathe. Okay, uh, what do I do? How do I fix? Great, we're both terrible at charades. Okay, two words. First word. Hurry up! Sounds like you. The doctor, heart, two hearts, monkey, gorilla, King Kong, Tarzan, ribs, chest, chest! Sounds like chest, guest, vest, press. Press doesn't rhyme with chest. Oh, second word. Sounds like face, hair, head, head. Sounds like head, bed, dead, red, red. Press red, okay. Which one? There are loads of red things on here. All of the red things? Okay then. King Kong? Why would I tell you to press King Kong? Never mind, I'm just glad I can breathe again. The TARDIS reset has automatically extended the air shell. Right, so, here's the thing. We're caught in a riptide in the fabric of space-time. We're stuck in one of the pockets, and we don't have long until the TARDIS gets dragged to the next one. You'll have to find something you can use as a tractor beam and attach it to the console. Uh, you should find what you need in the drawing room. Hurry, before the TARDIS gets dragged away. I'll be trapped here with no way back. And how exactly am I supposed to find the drawing room? I've never been there before. Right, it's very simple. Take the corridor for about half a mile, turn left, then right, then right again, and then it's your third, next right. Go past the weird swirly thing, left, then your other left, through the sunroom. Careful not to trip over the sun lounger, then you'll see a green door. Don't go in there. Go right, follow the wall until it gets a bit slimy, then take the lift to the third floor. Drawing room straight ahead. You can't miss it. Easy peasy. Now, that is my private study, so don't mess about with anything. And nobody sits in my chair but me. Good luck. That'll be the time this time. Messing around with the internal structure of the TARDIS. You can fix it by aligning the levers on the mechanical board. Make them all point upwards. And be quick. These blue things are chronomites, four-dimensional creatures that live in the void. Mostly harmless, but blimey O'Reilly, they're it. It's very tidy in here, that's not like the doctor. Lots of old clutter, though. Should be easy enough to find something to use as a tractor beam. What's that noise? Nothing good, I bet. Whoa! Well, if there wasn't so much junk everywhere, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, 
that's a relief. Did I mention just how itchy those things are? <laughs> Once or twice. By the way, you really need to tidy that drawing room, and I owe you a new thingy of aftershave. Aftershave, I don't have any. We're sliding over to the next pocket! Oh, good, a bell, because the other alarms weren't loud enough! That's the cloister bell, it thinks something is very, very wrong, and I don't know how to... Fix it. That's weird. Doctor? Where's he gone now? Oh, great. Would anything else like to go wrong? Anything at all? The time lock's fallen out of sync. Amy's lost somewhere in time. Or maybe I'm the one who's lost. That'd be rubbish. I need to figure out whenabouts in time I am and see how much power is left. Make your mind up. Am I here or a thousand years in the future? Here or future? Here? Future? It's caught between two possibilities. That's not good. It's a lesion in time. Amy's stuck in the future. I'm back here. I can fix it by setting off a reverse tachyon feedback loop from both directions at once. Hmm. Tricky. But not impossible for a clever chap like me. The parts I need should be in the drawing room. I'll need something to keep track of time and something to focus the time in place. Blimey, talking to myself already. That's a new record. No, 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 no. That's impossible. It had a triple deadlock force field. That means the entity has escaped. Amy! It's me. Well, a recording of me. Hello? Doctor, is that you? A recording of me, but that's neither here nor there. Unlike us, we are both here and there in a sense. Oh, stop rambling! Anyway, I'm rambling. The time riptide has destabilized a force field which was trapping a sort of glowy, blobby thing called the entity. It's not aftershave, it's a hungry life form, and it wants to eat the time energy from your past. It's bad, I get it. Talk faster! There's a lesion in time separating us by a thousand years. You're in my future, so I've set this alarm for you. You need to answer some questions to prove who you are. If someone else finds this before you, it'll stop them unlocking the code. Excellent, you're hearing me say this. So you must have answered the questions correctly. Unless you didn't, in which case you can't, and I'm talking to myself again. It needs to be activated at both ends of the time lesion. Just press the button, and it'll sync up with the one in my time. <laughs> No, what have you done to me? Amy, you did it! Yay! Huh, go me. I'm still feeling a bit wobbly, though. <coughs> Stop! Ooh, that never works. Fix now, applause later. Now, I know you understand me. Speak! The TARDIS translation circuits will allow us to hear you. Then hear this. You will perish. Release Amy right now, or I'll lock you up again while you're busy finishing her off. No. You held me prisoner before. I had to. If you kept eating, there'd be nothing left. It'd get very boring. Now, let her go. But I must feed on both of you. You don't need to do that. I must feed. Yeah, 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 you said. Blimey, see why I kept it locked up? I found a place you can feed safely. An all-you-can-eat buffet. Where is this place? Well, let Amy go, give her back her time, and I'll tell you. Your choice. Feed forever, or keep Amy and starve in here. You have so much time. I will feast on you instead. No. I must feed. Stop hurting my friend now. Give her back her time or I'll never let you eat again. I have a good mind to just leave you in there. 
But I keep my word. Chronomites. Four-dimensional void creatures streaming through the time riptides for infinity. Eat their pass and they just circle back around again, unharmed. You can stuff your face. If you have a face, I don't know. Now, are you going to behave yourself? This is acceptable. Release me. You didn't mention the itching. No, completely slipped my mind. Where were we? Oh, yes. Sightseeing. Somewhere nice. And no trouble this time? Where's the fun in that? Oh, hang on. I know, I know just the place. You'll love it. It's very quiet, peaceful, and perfectly safe. Here we are. London after the Great Flood of the 23rd century. Coming at us again! That glass won't take much more punishment. Tunnel. I'm afraid it isn't there anymore, which means we can't get back to the TARDIS. So what is this place? Subaquatic community. Isn't it amazing? When the oceans rose, 75% of Earth's land mass drowned. Humanity built its own new islands and moved on to the ocean bottom to farm and mine for minerals. You're a resourceful lot, you humans. That's why I love you. You're moving anywhere, a bit like hermit crabs. Crabs? Yeah, thanks a lot. Poseidon 8, that's the closest. Come on, be rude not to say hello. What is that thing? It's not like any shark I ever saw. Of course not. It's not a shark, and it's not from Earth. Quick, inside! The Doctor, Amy. You? Martin Flanagan. Doctor? Then there's a hospital ship up top. You came down in a bathosphere? Is that like some newfangled 23rd century coroner bath? Only no corners. She's still getting used to the pressure. Oswald must have gotten SOS out. Maybe Jones will let me into Poseidon. Now there's medical help. Who needs medical help? The sickness. It's taken everyone on the base. Oswald has put the place on lockdown. That's why Jones won't let me in. I was working a harvester out on the prairie. That creature attacked us. Killed Pat, the base leader. I'm the only survivor. And then Jones wouldn't let me in. Because of the quarantine, the creature had knocked out communications. I've been stuck here two days. What kind of idiot is this, Jones? It's a computer. Hello, Jones. I'm the Doctor. Now, what's all this about you not letting in my good friend? Uh, Martin. My good friend Martin. You're a class 14, aren't you? With Nexus Prime as standard. Correct. And they've got you guarding the doors. 
It's hardly worthy of your talents. I bet you could run this whole base if they let you. I do have considerable skills which are not currently being utilised. It's rubbish being clever sometimes, isn't it? You end up looking for impossible things to do just for the challenge. I bet you've done that, haven't you? Well, the other day I solved the Angelides equation just to see if I could. That's brilliant. Did you use the Kessler chart? No. It doesn't allow for the four-dimensional drift. I came up with a new paradigm. It, it took 14 hours. Oh, yes. Well done, Jokes. Thank How about a compromise? If you release the manual override, then we will open the door, not you. And I wouldn't have to actually open the door myself? Nope. You won't be in breach of your programming. Scout's honor. How about it? Does that work for you? It's an acceptable, logical solution. Releasing manual override now. now. Open sesame. Ha, thanks for your help, Jones. It's been a relief to talk to someone who understands me, Doctor. Oh, boy. I think you've pulled. Well, I, I can see the attraction. Oswald! Dana! Martin! We thought you'd been killed. Merry Christmas, for what it's worth. When you put Poseidon into quarantine, Jones wouldn't let Martin through. But that's going to happen if you have a Cyber Class 14 system with a Nexus Prime processor doing the work of, well, a 1984 PC. Like putting Einstein on a supermarket checkout. Gonna get grumpy and play out. Who are you? He's a doctor. There's a hospital ship up top. But there isn't any hospital ship. You don't need a hospital ship. You've got me. You can wish for a better Christmas present. <clears throat> and I'm Amy. Just Amy. You're not looking too good, Ozzy. Get away from me. He's just trying to help. Bingo. Well observed. Who are you? Dana Tanaka. I'm the Poseidon medic. The sickness kills off the red blood cells. It doesn't respond to anything. We've confined non-essential crew to their quarters. If he's not from the hospital ship, where did he come from? There's too much weird stuff going on around here. It's the lights. Well, what are you scared of? It's not just a sickness, is it? They hide in the shadows. They come in the dark. What does? Ashton Arada. Martin! What? What happened to him? Carnivorous photoorganisms that live in the dark, like schools of piranha fish swimming in the shadows. I am never turning the lights off again. Not ever. The Vashti Narada on Earth are usually timid and feed on roadkill. But this, down here, this is something else. This is alien. It started with the flash. Flash? What flash? Two days ago. Lit up the ocean bed. The sickness, that creature, the shadows, it all started then. I have to evacuate this base. Good plan, bad idea. Life pods, lots of dark corners. Your people will be dead before they reach the surface. We're on emergency lighting. It won't last much longer. I've got to get everybody off Poseidon. Or I fix a generator. Come on, Amy. You two, stay out of the shadows and forget about the life pods. Uh, did you see this great flash the others were talking about? My sensors recorded several teraquads of information relating to the event. I have some fascinating seismographs, but nothing that is useful to the current situation, unfortunately. Got a quid for the meter? I can do better than that. Let there be light. Right then, let's get to work. Doctor, what about the TARDIS? She'll be all right. That part of the tunnel was sealed off. Yes, but there's still a ton of ocean in between us and it. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge, or flooded tunnel, when we come to it. Oh! Hello, sailor. Doctor, it's alive. The Vashti Narada are animating it. Don't let it touch you. Don't let any of them touch you. Generator's still not working properly. There must be something blocking the vents. I'll keep working on it here. You head up the corridor and... I know, I know. Bravely face the darkness and monsters and save the day again. Well, it's probably just a matter of flicking a switch, actually. But, yes. Good luck with, uh... flicking that switch.
That sounds better. Hopefully that generator will spring to life now. Hopefully. Brilliant. Well done, Engineer Pop. Now, let's find out what's really going on. What do you mean, really? The sickness, the vash, the narada, flipping with the big teeth out there. They're all connected. It's that flash of light they all saw, isn't it? Thanks for chipping in, Amy. Come on. Jones may know more. Oh, Jones, me old mucker, can you have a butcher's at this for me? Certainly, Doctor. It's a standard environment status chip issued to all Poseidon personnel. That's strange. Drink. I'm picking up some unknown radiation. I'm, I'm supposed to be able to identify every possible type of radiation. My sensors must be damaged. No, your sensors are working perfectly, Jones. You can't identify it because it's alien. And I'm fairly sure I can fix it, too. I need to tell the others. Oswald! The doctor thinks he can synthesize a cure for the sickness. Poseidon is guaranteed to have what I need. Sea sprouts, brine oil, and sticky mushrooms. Those are always growing in some damp corner of an undersea base like this. This is a joke, right? Well, you might use brine oil to keep your machines going, but it's also full of iodine. They need the access codes to get onto the agricultural sectors. And, by the way, I thought I told you. Trying to get your people off Poseidon in life pods will just get them killed. So I just twiddle my thumbs while you mess around with some quack medicine? If you really want to save your people, you'll listen to the doctor. And let you go mushroom picking? So you get eaten by those things in the shadows? No way! Enough people have died. No one else, doctor. It's too dangerous. We've got one chance, and it's these pods. This is a restricted area. Get out! Oswald is a good man. But so many people have died. He's only trying to do what he thinks is right. Just a shame he's so spectacularly wrong. The Doctor needs those access codes. There's always plan B. I should ask Dana about those codes. Oswald won't let us out. We need those access codes. I'm sorry, I can't give them to you. It's the generator. It must be safer out there now. We'd be taking all the risks, not you. And I'm responsible for your safety. I can't let you go. I'm sure I'll find the ingredients in the storerooms. Out there. But you're not certain. It's too risky. You're not putting Oswald in danger or breaking his trust. This will help all of us. Fine. But be careful. And try to get back before Oswald notices. Thank you, Dana. I'm always careful. And when we come back with a cure, you'll be glad we went. I'll enter the codes now. Access codes accepted. Security override released. Shush! We're trying to do this on the quiet, you numpty. Sorry, all that sugar lumps. Oh, is that witch's brew really going to fix me? You'll feel better, I promise. <laughs> Quite a kick, isn't it? Yeah, that's the sea worm extract. You have got to be kidding me. The doctor's painted a Vortron radiation elixir, 100% effective. Caution, you may grow hair on the palm of your hands. But until that happens, uh, I need your help, Dana. With what? Vortron energy only comes from some sort of dimensional vortex. Are you serious? He's serious. Just what kind of a doctor are you? Really? The kind you need. I mean, really need. And if I can find the source of the Vortron energy, I can make everything better. And how do we do that? Does Poseidon have external scanning equipment? Of course. Here. How can we locate the source of the Vortron energy? Perhaps you can triangulate it by using the scanners on the bridge. That's the source of the radiation? But you said Vortron energy came from some sort of vortex. That's just a shipwreck. Oh, no, 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 no. Amy Pond, that is the shipwreck of the USS Eldridge. Yeah. Like that means anything. The Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, the 28th of October, 1943, Project Rainbow. Mm, nope. Still not getting it. The US Navy experiments with Einstein's unified field theory to make their warships invisible. Instead, they break the laws of transdimensional physics. They open a gateway, and the Eldridge travels across the world and back again in the blink of an eye. Every man on board is either killed or goes insane. So what's it doing on the seabed? My people took steps to stop the experiment. Your people? Time Lords. We'll catch up another time. The gateway was unstable, and the Eldridge disappeared again before they could neutralize it. And now it's here, and the gateway is still open. The Vashna Narada and that Shorik thing, they came through it? Exactly. And we have to close it. He's 
going ahead with it. Those are life pods your crews will be getting into, Dana. They're coffins. Come on, Amy, we have to stop this. I don't like this, Doctor, but getting these people, getting Dana, off Poseidon is all I care about. Which means making sure you can't interfere. Oswald, he says the life pods aren't safe. You have to listen to him. We've been careful. Believe me, Dana. This way, at least we've got a chance. He's right, Dana. It's a chance. Doctor? He wants to keep you safe. Go with him. I'll be back to get you, Doctor. What are you playing at? And how did you get out of those ropes? Harry Houdini. Long story. No time in arguing about the pods was just wasting more of it. We need to get to the TARDIS, and quickly. The TARDIS? How? Jones, show me the service system now. Watertight service trenches run beneath Poseidon. Although seabed tunnels connecting with your craft sealed location have been destroyed, destroyed. access is achievable. Well done, Jones. Smells a bit stale, tastes of engine oil and halibut, but it'll do. Come on, Amy. How is there oxygen? It's a projection of the gateway. Look. Fascinating. Isn't it? But come along, Pond. We have to find the accelerator, the heart of the gateway. What was that? Maybe he doesn't want to go home. There won't be much in the sea here that's bigger than him. Top of the food chain. So turning the accelerator off will send it home? Him, the Vashon Arada, and anything else that slipped through the transdimensional gateway. And before those life pods are launched. Come along, shake a leg, Seaman Pond. <laughs> Amy! The valve won't stay closed. You go through while I hold it. That door we passed at the top of the steps. Can you find a way to open it from the other side? All right. There must be a bilge pump. Huh. The water's being flushed out. Maybe I could lure the divers in there. Finally. Thanks, Amy. I thought I was going to be stuck out there for good. Nah, just until I cleared away the danger. What danger? Exactly. Now to finish the job. We need to find the accelerator and shut it down. Now we're getting somewhere, if I'm not much mistaken. Which of course you aren't. Why, thank you, Amy. You're right. The accelerator is at the top of this room. And what do we do when we get there? Well, would it be too much to ask for an off switch? <laughs> Ladies first. Thanks. I'll let you know if it's safe up there. Be careful. Looks like the Rift is playing havoc with the machinery in here. What do you see? Big machine with some levers. No bad guys up here. Oh, good. Just down here, then. Hold on, Amy. I'm coming. Ah, there they go. Back to the surface. I dare say daylight never looks so good. What about you two? We'll take the next pod. Oswald is responding well to your meds.
But the pod's SOS beacons will bring a hospital ship. We need to get everybody checked out. I'm sorry, Doctor. I acted like an idiot. We saw the Vashta Narada sucked out of the pods when you shut down the Eldritch. You saved our skins, really. Well, I couldn't leave you just sitting in the dark, could I? Whoever you are, wherever you come from, we owe you everything. We've just had our harvest, and I'd be honored if the two of you would join us for Christmas dinner. Oh, that would be brilliant. I am starving. What are we having? Oswald's prize crop. Oh, marvelous. What's that then? Sea pumpkins. Sea pumpkins? Sea pumpkins? You'll love them. 